We are at the, the Robertsons. Hi, got something for you. It's a drawing. Oh, very nice. You want to see? What, what do you think it is? There's bobbles. There's bobbles. Yep. There. Who's that driving by? Is that is that Greg? I'm not sure. It's it's Greg. He's with his two. He's with his dog Sugar. Is it a picture of? Uh... Who is it? Who do you think it is? This is a look-alike picture. Not bobbles, but. But the other cat. The other kitty cat. Yes, Bridget. Bridget's the name? Bridget, yeah. She was here just a little while ago. Well, that's really nice, Carly. Thank you so very much. No problem. You like it? I do. It's very nice. Thank you. So, so are there any other cats that I have not drawn yet? We only have the two. Now, Miss Gidget may have kittens. We think that she's going to have little kittens, so there may be some little kitties around before too long. To draw? But, yeah. So, what are you going to name them? Don't know yet. Uh, I don't know if Miss Lisa has picked out any names yet or not. What does she have in mind? Uh, I haven't even heard her mention any names, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. She's out of town and won't be back till so next So, Doug, Friday. what year were you born in? 1958. So, you're, so you're actually um, a year older than my dad? I think we're pretty close to the same age. See, are you, are you a year younger or a year older or the same age? I'm 63. He's 63 as well. Okay, my birthday's in December. I'll be 64 this December. December what? The 21st. You actually, you, you, I thought that was Lisa. No, her birthday is the very next day, December the 22nd. So our birthdays are right next to each other. And yeah. did, did, you, did you know I actually got, um, you actually got an 80 on my report card um, on five days till Christmas? That's awesome. Yeah, very nice. And did you know I actually got a ninety on? Did you know I actually got a ninety on nine a ninety on my report card on Halloween twenty eighteen? No, I didn't know that. Have you ever got a Have you ever got good grades on Halloween before? You know, my grades weren't the best in school. Well, actually, well, well, I actually got all A's and one B on Halloween. That's wonderful. Nice work. Do you really? think that was the only holiday I got all A's and one B on? What's that? How, so, so do you think Halloween was the only holiday I got all A's in one B? I got a report card? I bet you've gotten a few more good grades on some holidays. Uh, Halloween right now is the only one. The, is the only, only one? Okay. Well, that's good. You're making really good grades, doing really well. So, that's um, awesome. So what I know of that, that my last, my, my last report card of my junior year, this is what I know of. That is actually going to, I think summer 2022 is going to be like summer 2019. Uh-huh. There actually is a similarity. Okay. It's the same about both of them. Is that um is that summer 2018 and 20 and 2019? Uh huh. So it's the same that that that, that I'm actually going to get the I think I'm going to get my, my my hypothesis is that I'm actually going to get the amount on my report card. Um. I think it was this, the the exact same amount that I got that I got in I got that was actually my last middle school report card. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that is awesome. Do you know what it looked like? No. It actually was always in one, always in one B. Wow, I would love to have had a report card like that. I was just happy if I got passing grades. I made a few A's and a few B's, but I, 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 part, I was kind of an average student. I got a lot of C's. Well, I'm, I'm an average student right now. Well, you're doing really well. That is awesome. So, did you know back in my Good freshman work. year, I I was on the back on back on back in my freshman year, I was on the A honor roll and the A and the A B honor roll. Wow. I kind of miss I kind of I miss being a freshman. Uh -huh. So you know there was a time in my freshman year where I actually got all I actually got seven A's and one B. Wow. Do you know what happened to that? Do you know do you, do you know what happened when I got that seven A's and one B? No. Uh -uh. Well, what happened was I actually got so what happened was um the comp the a's and b's actually were counted by numbers that end in zero okay so the a's were counted by the number 20 and the b's were counted by the number 10 okay 
How do you think that happened? Hmm, I've never heard of counting grades like that. Well, because um, so, so the um, so the 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 seven A's, well, the first half. So the first half of my report card was 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 just was a, just a gene a generic one hundred. Uh huh. But, but, with but with but but with the B on my card, it turned into a it was a giant five. Okay. Had, so do you think it should be the Frankston one fifties? Sure. The East Texas 150s or the Tyler 150s? Yeah. I used to have a Cessna 150. Um, <laughs> speaking, um, what's your perspective of when you hear 150 in general? What do you think of? 150? I think of, a, well, a couple of things. The 150 that I used to own, it was red and white. It was a nice little Cessna. Yep. And then the first actual flying that I did, uh, as in flying lessons, was with my dad in a yellow and white Cessna 150. And I made some of my first takeoffs and landings in that airplane. So that brings back some good memories. So when I hear one, when I hear 150, I think of, I think, I think of my pandemic, I actually think of my pandemic report card from, from, from when I was 15. Okay. Numbers have different meanings to different people and you know, I'm an airplane guy, so like your dad, so I hear 150, and I think it's just a 150. So what's your perspective when you hear 160? 160? I guess I really don't have one. My perspective of when I hear 160, I think of, I think of, I think of my first report card of high school. Uh-huh. And I also think of my, I also think of when I graduated elementary school. Uh-huh. So when I hear, so do you have a perspective of when you hear 90? 90. You know, that number comes to mind because I was a new commuter airline pilot and I had never ridden in the cockpit of a jet before. And I took a jump seat ride for the first time from Houston to Dallas on Southwest Airlines and it was flight 90. So what? Southwest 90 was the first time I ever rode in a cockpit on a jet. It was on a 737. And I remember that was really cool. Hi, Bridget. There's Miss Gidget. Is that Gidget or Bridget? That's Gidget. Kind of like Gidget from The Secret Life of Pets? Yeah, and I'm just going to make sure she doesn't get in, Carly, because we keep her outside and Bobble stays inside. So, yeah, she might try to run in there if so I have the door So is Gidget open. a calico? You know, I'm not really sure what she is. By the colors, it's a calico. Okay, I'd go with that. I think the cat's a calico. Uh huh. So calicos, um, that that kind of reminds me of um the calico at um Gala's house. Uh huh. That used to be there. Uh huh. Okay. Kind of the same colors. So yeah. it could be the same kind of cat. I know there's been several that have been around the airfield here that kind of look like her. So she has nipples because she's gonna have kittens. I do think she's going to have kittens. Ms. When? Lisa said she looks like she is going to have babies any time. So what? What kind? What kind? What? What? what do, you think, do you think there are going to be any Bombay kittens? I don't know. I hope there's Bombay kittens. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. If there's Bombay kittens. Uh huh. So um, so you know my perspective. Uh, so do you have a perspective of when you hear a 130? It's kind of funny. I keep coming up with all these airplane things. I think of a C-130, the military turboprop. Used to see them a lot flying around in Fort Worth where we lived over there because we were right under the traffic pattern for the Air Force Base. Now it's the Navy Joint Reserve Base. They got a lot of C-130s there. So my perspective, so when I hear 130, I think of, what do you think I think of? Another report card? I actually think of my first report card as a junior. Okay, cool. So it actually was my very first, it actually, actually, it actually was my very first, it actually was my first experience with a 130. Okay. Well, you've done real well. So impressive grade. So um, so my freshman year was my first experience with a 150. Uh huh. 
Sixth grade was my first experience with a 120. Okay. Seventh grade was a 90. Eighth grade was my first experience with an 80. Uh -huh. Ninth grade actually was my first experience with a 150. Okay. Then the 11th grade was a 130. We don't know, we, we don't know what my senior year is going to be. Just have to wait, I guess. What do you think it's going to be? I bet it's going to be good. What's the highest number that you could get? Well, there's actually the well, you know, there's actually according according to me to me, there's actually two there's actually two super rare amounts that that we never that we never seen before. Uh-huh. There's actually two there's actually two rare amounts that that are that are that are kind of they're that are really hard to find. Okay. But but if I actually found so you know, the two rare amounts are the giant seventeen and the giant eighteen. They're they're the rarest ones of all. Okay. If I if I actually did find one of the two, I was like, Mom, <laughs> like Mom, there's a one seventy in the mailbox. <laughs> so they mail those out to you. So uh, so if there, there actually was a drive by, actually actually um when I actually if so Doug, have you ever ever scored a one seventy before? I never have. No. Have you ever scored a 120 like 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 in in the sixth grade like I did? No. You've done real well with your I, grades. I've scored a 120 unexpectedly in the sixth grade. I was not expecting it. Uh-huh. Well, that's awesome. I've gotten some pretty good grades, but it uh, seems like a lot of the tests that I took, you know, 100 was the, the maximum you could get. And they did the grading a little bit different back then. So did, I actually remember getting a 105 on a spelling test back in the fifth grade. Did you get extra credit? I actually, I actually, I actually spelled a bonus word. Oh, okay. And the word was sentence. And and and, and, I, and I got an extra five points. Uh huh. And did you know yesterday actually was a was a was one of my YouTube channels um holidays. Okay. So, it, do, do, do have you have you ever heard of the Carly W Channel Holiday World Seventy Five Day? No. Never heard of that holiday. It Never was yesterday. Had. Okay. So, this actually goes back to. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I've never heard her make that noise before. Was she about to have kittens? Maybe she's gonna have kittens. I don't know. We'll is it going to happen? Wait and see. Is it going to happen? May have some little kitties by in the morning. Whose horn was that? I think it came from down by the lake. Who is it? That I do not know. Are the kittens coming out? She doesn't seem to be having them right now. Maybe she's just tired and was giving off a little groan there. So, 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 did you know? Did you, did you know? Um, I actually had a pet um, when I lived in New Mexico. Actually, one of my pets, actually back in New Mexico, when I lived in New Mexico, had 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 babies. Had babies on Christmas. Oh wow! What a Christmas present! It it it, it actually was like it actually was um, how to describe it. It actually was a it was a brown and dark. It was light and dark brown, uh -huh. kind of like um, Aerostates' statue.